Oh, well, hello everybody and welcome to another video. A video that is likely to be a very wet one. You can probably hear the rain banging off the uh, the roof of the van as I speak. Now, this is another Hasselblad X2D video. I don't know if you saw last week's video, but that was very much a first impressions. Go out for a quick hour, have a play, see what it feels like. Jobs are good. And, but today, I'm hoping to go for a proper shoot with the camera. But the problem is... It's chucking it down. And as I mentioned last week, this camera doesn't have an IP rating, but it does appear to be weather sealed. It's just not official. Uh, so I'm both looking forward to and nervous about taking this into what is currently torrential rain showers. So I'm gonna get wet, this is gonna get wet, but I really wanna get out there because this right now Oh, it's such a beautiful time to go out and shoot. The leaves are wet, they're shining, the colours are rich and saturated. We might even get a bit of light. And the colours of autumn are just beginning to come through. So, let's see how this camera stacks up uh, <laughs> with the great British weather. So it would be a great shame to be put off from coming out in any inclement weather just because this camera is expensive and doesn't have an IP rating. That would be a shame. So my advice, probably, oh God, don't take my advice, but you know, you have a camera, you want to shoot it. Unless it's particularly vulnerable, like a really old film camera, then obviously don't take that into torrential rain. But if you've got a modern camera that is as capable as this thing, please don't be afraid to use it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here in the rain. If this gets damaged, it's on me, but I don't think it will. Anyway, I have what I hope to be a beautiful shot here. And yes, I will address those who are questioning, where's the tripod? <laughs> so the rain has been torrential now for about 36 hours and it's only just letting off. And when you look at the river, you can tell because it's absolutely raging. It's swelling and it's thundering through this valley and it's fantastic. And I wanted to find a shot with the river in my composition because it's like, you could probably hear it. I'm having to shout. It's really loud here. And I wanted to see if I could capture that in a photograph. And I think I'm onto something here with this composition. And the lack of tripod, well, I was so impressed by the image stabilization on this and the autofocus that I decided, you know what, I'm not going to bring my tripod on this shoot. Not just to prove a point, but because when it's raining, you want to be working fast. You know, camera out the bag, take the shot, back in the bag. When you set it up on a tripod, although it makes photography easier, slower, filming easier and all those are good things, I think in conditions like this, where you can see the sun is coming in and out of the clouds, the rain comes, the rain goes, conditions change. You want to be reactive and fast, so no tripod. So what caught my attention with this composition was the juxtaposition or the contrast between the raging river and then this incredibly delicate lone tree. And I'm confident with this camera, handheld, I can shoot this at about half a second, which is the perfect shutter speed to get motion in the water and really try and uh, show you know, the, the, the thunderous movement of the water, at the same time retaining texture and detail so it's not just a white blur. So half a second, focusing on the tree, beautifully framed by lovely early autumnal colors. And you know, I tell you what, seven stops of image stabilization, come on. <laughs> gotta be the future man. I mean, 
It's expensive, but it's good. I'm not quite sure I'll get away with this pour in the uh, beer communities, but I don't care, man, because I need this. I have just got back from Greece. Oh, God. This isn't going well. <laughs> the whole video is just going to get scrapped. <laughs> right, so let me... Uh, I'll explain everything and what's gone on and, and basically why we're here five days later, what happened with the Hasselblad, and, and all of that stuff. But first, thankfully, today's sponsor is a beer sponsor. Ah, so the sponsor of this video is Beer52. Beer52, they are a beer subscription service. So get this, would you like to drink free beer and help the environment? I uh, expect the answer to that is yes. Well, with Beer52, if you pay the postage of £5.95, and of course this is, oh, really sorry, this is UK only, if you pay postage of £5.95, they will send you a free box of 10 beers. And by claiming the offer of those free beers, you'll be supporting some incredible environmental charities. So if you fancy that, go to beer52.com forward slash Heaton. So every month, Beer52 will send their members a, a case of carefully curated craft beer. And this month, it is their Restore Our Earth case. Uh, which focuses on environmental charities, which obviously fits beautifully with this channel. They've partnered with the Garden Brewery in Croatia. They've also teamed up with 10 breweries from 10 different countries to create 10 different collaboration beers. In a case of beer, of course, you get 10 beers. As I've already mentioned, my favorite from this case is the Milkshake IPA. You also get a copy of Ferment Magazine, so you can read all about your beers, and they include snacks. How do you feel about ASMR? <laughs> the worst sponsor ever. Sorry, not the worst sponsor ever, the worst sponsored read ever. Flipping heck. I don't even tell this milkshake beer is going to my head. All right, so basically, you pay 5 95 you get your free case of beer. It's fantastic. If you're not happy with it, you can cancel or you can pause your membership at any time. So the Restore Our Earth case aims to bring attention to some incredible organizations that are working on all of the climate issues that we face in 2022. And they're also working to conserve some incredibly important ecosystems. So between them, Beer52 and Garden Brewery from Croatia have raised 20 grand, 20,000 pounds, to contribute to the cause with the help of Tithe, an environmental charity giving a platform to organizations who are doing the most to save our planet. And I will definitely drink to that. So to find out more and to claim your free case of beer, again, UK only, go to beer52.com forward slash heat and pay 5 95 postage and you will get a crate away or a box of uh, 10 beers and snacks and of course the magazine. So with the sponsorship read done, let me explain why we've had to cut the Hasselblad X2D video short. But before I get into why I've been in Greece and had to cut the video short, let me explain how the industry works. So basically, I emailed Hasselblad a few weeks ago and said, I would love to try that X2D. It looks fantastic. They said, okay, we'll put you on a list and we'll let you know if one becomes available. So a few weeks later, they email me and they say, Tom, we've got a unit available, but only for this week, we'll ship it to you tomorrow. And I was like, this is fantastic, I'll take it. But unfortunately, that was my busiest week of the year as I pack 
and ship my calendar, which by the way, is uh, now available on general sale. So although I had the Hasselblad for a week, I couldn't use it, I couldn't go on a trip, you know, I was mega busy. So I went out, I used it for a couple of hours in the morning, which was last week's video, a first impressions video. And then at the end of the week, I planned to take a couple of days in the Lake District and really indulge in photography and use the camera properly. And in fact, what I was gonna do was shoot in the afternoon and sunset, sleep in my van, and then in the morning, I was gonna shoot the Fuji GFX 100S, which is the X2D's closest rival. I had this whole content strategy mapped out with the X2D, I had it for a few more days. It was, it was all, you know, it was gonna be the content for the next few weeks, basically. But unfortunately, I got a phone call. A phone call that told me a very close family member had had an accident whilst on holiday in Greece, was hospitalized, and needed to be operated on. So I dropped everything, booked a flight to Greece the very next day and just stopped filming, drove home, packed my stuff and then at four in the morning I was on my way to Greece and that's where I've been for the last five days. And because I've been away for five days, it means that the X2D of course had to go back to Hasselblad so they collected that whilst I was away and I've come home with half a video and no X2D. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of like, what do I do? So I thought, well, the best thing to do is just be honest with everyone, instead of trying to mash together this video, I'll just explain what happened. And that's it. And the family member is in good health. They had their operation, which was the big worry. Everything's fine, and they'll be coming home very shortly. So I have now flown back to the UK. Now, although I haven't got the X2D, I do still have the GFX 100S. So if you're interested in a very rough comparison, because I can't, I was hoping to shoot the two cameras side by side, but I can't do that now. Um, there we go, so I hope that explains everything. With regards to future content, I have one of the most exciting road trips planned, which I can't talk about because it's still not booked in, it's still not definite. Um, but, you know, in the next few weeks, hopefully we'll have some very exciting content as I go on a road. And I can't say any more. I can't say any more, but it's, it's good. Like the idea has been brewing for a while and um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be different as well. That's what's important. It's going to be different. Um, so looking forward to that. So for now, I will just ask for your patience as I try and catch up on content um, we're getting into autumn now, so hopefully the content on this channel will begin to improve. And that's it, you've been great. Thank you so much for your patience. I don't wanna waffle on too much longer. And I will hopefully see you all next week, all right? So uh, tune in for that. Um, and hopefully it'll be business as usual. All right, cheers guys. Uh, th thanks again, cheers, bye bye. <laughs>